Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that Eric and I picked up at the last churchyard sale that we went to. So this was the last footage that you saw. Um, we went to a church sale, which the people who put it on, um, it's actually, I do believe, like a very large family that puts the sale on. I'm not sure if it's for their personal use or if they, you know, donate all of the money to the church, um, but I don't think it's actually um, put on by the church themselves. I think they just kind of like rent out the church space to have the sale. But regardless, it's a sale that I love going to. My mom loved going to it as well. So they definitely have it every single year and it's just a really fun sale. So after that, we went to a Halloween store that opened up in town, which did not pan out. Um, didn't really care for the selection or the prices for that matter. Um, so I don't know if I will be going back to that. Uh, but then today, Eric and I went out to some yard sales as well. We actually went out of state and out of town. So that was a fun little experience just to get away from our area and check out like, you know, what's going on in another area. So we did find a lot of good stuff there today. So you will see that in an upcoming video. But we're gonna go over everything I got. Um, I'll let you guys know most of the, of the first stuff that I show is from the church sale um, and then some might be from random yard sales, but you'll know when I get to it. Uh, but the first thing that I got is this Roly Poly Oli plush. Um, I recently sold a Roly Poly Oli VHS tape and I do feel like the these cartoon um, pieces are harder to find. Like I rarely come across Roly Poly Oli merchandise. So when I saw him, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna pick him up. So I'm pretty sure I paid either a quarter or 50 cents for him. And I listed him for a buy it now of $32.99. So um, he's definitely up there in price. Um, I forget exactly what year these are from. I want to say early 2000s um, or potentially late 90s. I can't remember exactly, but um, I did pick him up since, like I said, I rarely see them. Eric took this and I don't know if he looked it up before he threw it in our box but um, these really aren't worth much. These are Longaburger from 1999 Longaburger Pottery. They're called Snow Friends. They're cookie molds. So there's two molds in the box. They're each in their own little individual box and it's these snowmen on the front. It's Snowball and uh, Flurry is their names. The box is kind of like junked up. I don't know if like a candle spilled on here or what, but um, the ornaments are perfectly fine, but the box is not in the best condition. Anyway, he paid $1 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $9.99. So they are Christmas related, so we'll see if they sell um, by Christmas. So I took this. This was sealed. This is a Bath and Body Works uh, gift set. It was more or less like things from their aromatherapy uh, type line, but it is older. So there were older, you know, fragrances in here that are no longer um, made. Well, at least one of them. <laughs> and that's what, all that mattered to me. Um, I paid $2 for the set and I opened it because there was one item in here that made opening this and just selling that one piece worth worth it. So that one piece is this little guy here and this is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Soothing Massage Oil in the scent Jasmine Vanilla. So they don't make this anymore. This is really hard to find, very uh, desirable fragrance. Um, and even though this is only like a two ounce bottle, it was still selling really high. So I listed this as a buy it now for $45.99. And I don't know if one, I think either one sold for 54 or someone has the same one listed for 54, but even this size was still selling around that area. So 
definitely worth paying two dollars for this now the rest of what's in here like some of it for whatever reason i guess because of age they're not filled to the tippy top but they were obviously never used because the whole thing was sealed so i don't know what i'm going to do with the rest of it um the other scents are still you know scents you can get at bath and body works so they're not really worth much um but there was a lavender vanilla pillow mist in there. I'll probably keep this for myself because I like pillow mists. So we'll figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it. But to pay $2 even just for this little guy here, I thought was definitely worth it. I took this old Santa Claus push button puppet. So he's just like a little plastic guy and he's got a little bell in his hand. And then there's a button you push on the bottom and he's like a spring puppet. So he just kind of goes all crazy jangling his bell there. So I thought that was really cute. Um, I paid 25 cents for him. I just figured something like this at the auction would probably sell for like four or five dollars. You know what I mean? So to get it for a quarter would be, you know, a good deal. Um, but unfortunately it's not worth a whole heck of a lot. I listed him as a buy it now for $9.99, which still isn't bad considering I only paid 25 cents for him. This next piece is so cool. I absolutely think this thing is amazing. Um, this is a grizzly bear and you can see in his paw, he's catching some salmon there. And what's really neat about this is it's marked St. Helens Ashware and it's actually made with ash from the Mount St. Helens eruption, which is neat but at the same time kind of disturbing because I know that there were casualties um, during that eruption. So I just, I think it's a little weird that um, people made stuff to profit off of such a disaster, um, but I do think this is really, really neat and just really unique as well. So I paid, um, I think a dollar for him, maybe less. I can't remember, and for some reason I didn't write it down. Uh, but I put this on auction with a starting price of nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. I don't know if I saw, I saw other Mount St. Helens figures listed, but I don't know if I saw the grizzly bear. So I wasn't quite sure um, whether to do auction on him or not, but that's what I went with. Uh, next item I got was this ceramic coffee pot. This is actually made by Stengel Pottery. It is ceramic. Um, it's got that like sponge wear look to it. Just a really nice piece. Um, it is marked here on the bottom. I didn't even realize it was Stangle at first. I was just kind of drawn to it. And then I'm looking at the bottom and I was like, oh my, that's actually Stangle. So I did pick this up and I paid $2 for this. And I listed it for a buy it now of $29.99. Eric found this vase. And this is really pretty. So this is hand painted and it's got just this really pretty swirl design on it with these hand painted trees. I just really like the colors of it. The inside is glazed and it's marked Seaverville Pottery, Tennessee. So it would have been made in Tennessee. So just a really nice vase. I like this a lot. Um, we paid just $1 for it and listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. Alright, now this next item was kind of a bad buy, I think. Um, I got these sneakers and they are blue with like rubber cap toes. When I first saw these, I thought that they were vintage Converse. I'm still not quite sure who they're made by. I did my research, but I cannot find any information on these shoes. Nowhere on these shoes does it say Converse anywhere. Um, so I think maybe it could potentially, like obviously they're vintage, but maybe like um, a knockoff version of Converse. Um, obviously, you know, a vintage sneaker. There's two stripes on the side. The inside, I don't know if you'll see down in there, but it says cushion heel, um, arch cushion, 
full sponge uh, insole made in USA. Uh, so yeah, as I say, couldn't find them anywhere. Um, and also, <laughs> they're dry rotted. And when I talk, when I say dry rot, this is what happens with old shoes. You're to do, and not even just old shoes, any shoes in general, because you don't know how long someone has been sitting on them. Um, to do the stress test, the bend test, just bending the shoe. And you can see when I do that, there are, oh, you hear that? There are cracks here. And it's on both shoes, not just that one. On the soles. So these do have dry rot. So these shoes I wouldn't recommend wearing as, you know, actual shoes to go out and about with. Um, if these are anything, which I don't know if they are, um, I was debating on just throwing them away, but just in case they were something and, you know, someone being a shoe collector would just want them in their collection, not to wear, but just to, you know, have because, you know, vintage shoes get thrown away and things like that. So before I threw them away, I was just going to see if anyone, um, you know, was looking for these. But again, I just, I don't know if they're Converse or not. I figure if they would be, they would say it on, on there somewhere. Um, so I forget what I paid for the shoes. I'd say a dollar. Um, and I listed them on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I have no idea. So if no one buys them, I may, may end up just throwing them away because um, they aren't in the best condition. I got two um, crafting kits. This one is by a company called Dutch Joy Designs and it has kind of like a Dutch looking um, design to it. It's got these pretty colorful birds on it and it's still sealed, still has all of its goodies inside. Um, I paid $2 for this and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And then I also got this one, which is by Paragon. It's called the Family Tree Sampler. So it makes a family tree and then you can actually embroider, um, you know, the names and stuff onto the tree. But again, still sealed. So I paid $2 for that one and I listed this one as a buy it now for $19.99. The other one I went with auction because I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, I took this guy and, oh gosh, these glass animals, they are a pain in the butt to ship. Um, but I still like picking them up, especially I only paid a dollar for this, so it's hard to just let it sit. So when I first got this, I was like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I didn't know what animal this was. I thought it was like a whale of some sort and this was its tail. It's an elephant. It is an elephant. So this is its body. And then this big old piece is his trunk. And then his little tusks right here. And then his ears. So I thought it was even cuter once I realized it was an elephant. So I think this is just like, you know, um, it's not Murano or anything like that. Just a very heavy glass, like art glass um, elephant figure. So I paid $1 for him and I put him up on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Eric decided to take a chance on these boots. <laughs> these are ski boots. They're definitely vintage. They're by a company called King sports they're really cool looking so if someone out there um likes to ski or collects vintage ski stuff like these are sweet they're actually in really nice condition potentially never worn i mean just great condition so we got these um i forget what he paid for them i want to say maybe two or three dollars i'm not sure I put them up on auction with a starting price of $39.99. So we'll see if they go or not. It's definitely some, like, that is something that is going to need a very specific buyer to purchase. So it's one of those things that might sit for a while. Or I might get lucky and they'll sell by next week. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so the next couple of items aren't from the church sale. Uh, but I'll let you guys know, you know, where they came from, what I paid, and all that good stuff. Um, I got these drinking glasses. These were actually from an auction that I just got around to listing. So these are vintage drinking glasses. They kind of have like a leaf and butterfly print to them. Um, these ones here are like a frosted... Uh, white with gold. There's actually six of them. I only brought two up um, to show you guys so I didn't have to bring up all of them. Um, I can't remember what we paid for them. I know it wasn't a lot um, and I put them up as a buy it now for $49.99. I got this fish plate at a yard sale. So this is really cute. I like this a lot. It's a little brown fish plate. And this is made by Evangeline Pottery. It's marked here on the back, Canada. I paid just 50 cents for this little guy at a yard sale. And I put him up as a buy it now for $19.99. At the same sale, I got uh, that fish plate. I got these Ray Dunn Christmas mugs. So they're red on the inside, like a creamy white on the outside. And they both say naughty on one side and nice on the other. They're both the same. Um, I don't typically pick up Ray Dunn unless it's something super interesting. However, these were 50 cents a piece. So I only made $1 for them. So I thought that that was a great deal regardless. And they're Christmas related and Christmas is coming. So I couldn't just let them sit at 50 cents a piece. So $1 for those, and I listed them as a buy it now for $29.99. I also like that there was a pair. That way, um, you know, someone can have, you know, with their partner, each have a same matching mug. At first, I thought one said naughty and one said nice, <laughs> but they're both the same. Um, at another yard sale, this was like kind of like an estate sale. I, I use the term estate loosely because um, it was pretty much a yard sale um, and it wasn't like a whole lot of stuff type of thing. And it's always funny <laughs> with those sales, like nothing will be priced and the people will be like, um, you know, don't worry about the price because it'll be cheap, you know, blah, 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 blah. Especially if, you know, you gather some things together and whatnot. And then you, like, ask for a price for something. And it's like, okay, I thought this was going to be cheap. You know what I mean? So I <laughs> I did find a couple of things that were cheap. Um, this is a bottle of Givenchy Organza perfume. So it looks like this. It has been used. There is some um, missing in there. But I've sold this perfume multiple times in various sizes um so i'd say i paid about two dollars for this because i did buy some other stuff at that sale that i don't have listed yet uh, but i put this up on auction with a starting price of 29 dollars and 99 cents so you guys seen in semi-recent videos that i had gotten some spin brush toothbrushes um those sold i think i have one left um, I found these and these ones are not as desirable as the ones that I had previously found. These are definitely cheaper versions. I think you might still even be able to buy these in the store, but it was a dollar. So I was like, I'm just going to buy it anyway. Uh, but this is the Spin Brush Pro White. It claims whiter teeth in one week. So $1 for that, and I listed it as a buy it now for $12.99. Seems like most people were listing them around that price. I got a Bath and Body Works um, three wick candle holder. This is a pretty Christmas theme. We got Santa in his sleigh holding a present, and then there's a big present and a tree, so glittery. Um, it is Bath and Body Works. I got this at a yard sale. I paid $2 for it, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. This next item is a Christmas ornament. It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, this here actually came from my parents' house. I still do have some stuff 
from their house. A lot of it did go to an estate auction. Um, I did keep stuff, you know, that was sentimental to me. Um, and then I did keep some, some other stuff that I was kind of like debating on keeping or getting rid of. Um, and this was one of them. My mom used to do a lot of like after Christmas sale shopping. So this was never actually used. It's a Kurt Adler Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ornament. So this is probably from like the 2000s, like early 2000s, I'd say. Uh, but this I listed as a buy it now for $9.99. I think I have a Bumble, the Abominable Snow Monster ornament as well for sale. It has a lot of watchers, but no one purchased that yet. Um, and then the last thing that I have to share with you is this here. And this was a amazing find. Um, I stopped at a yard sale and you know, when you go yard sailing year after year after year, you remember people's houses, you remember the type of stuff that they sell, and that kind of thing. So the sale I got this at, I mean, I find stuff at their sale every so often, but it's rare that I do kind of thing, and I'm glad I checked the clothing rack that day because I found a wrestling shirt. So this wrestling shirt is from 1999, so um, definitely older. It's a WWF, it has Stone Cold Steve Austin on the front, Royal Rumble, no chance in hell. It's a size extra large, and then this is what the back looks like. So um, it is marked 1999. This is not a single stitch t-shirt, but it is still worth a lot of money. I paid $1 for this shirt and I listed it as a buy it now for $289.99. So this shirt has sold um, around that area. Uh, currently, currently, um, there's the ones that are listed in this size are listed for $299 upwards of $400. So mine is currently the cheapest one available. So I'm hoping whoever is looking for this shirt will do their due diligence and actually look around for the cheapest option and buy mine first. <laughs> but we all know that, that that doesn't happen all the time. People don't always go shopping and look for the, the best deal. Uh, but this was a great dollar well spent regardless. Even if like it comes to the point where I only get like maybe a hundred for it. I paid a buck, so it's no big deal. Plus I don't mind hanging on to it for a little while to wait for the right buyer for that. Uh, but that was a great, great find there. Uh, but that is everything for this um, haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below. Um, I feel like there's a lot of church sales lately. Last year we didn't see church sales in count of COVID and now I feel like this year churches are starting to have their sales closer here now towards the end of summer. So um, I went to this one, I went to one last week and then I went to one this week. So they, I'm happy and so glad to see the church sales back because they're my absolute favorite sales to go to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you next time.